funniest, most powerful voices in all of comedy, rising from a Saturday Night Live writer to bona fide movie star. Well, in a new film, Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, Tina plays a journalist who finds herself presented with a life-changing opportunity. Well, we got to sit down recently with Tina and Kim Barker, the real-life war correspondent who inspired Tina's character. The uh, network is stretched thin. All our talent is going there. We need people, any people, to fill the void in Afghanistan. And you folks here are all the unmarried, childless personnel in this bureau. For those of you who are behind the scenes, there are opportunities to be on camera. Kim, are you um, going to be joining in? The travel or the crime? <laughs> <laughs> Tina Fey, Kim Barker, good to see you guys. Good morning, good morning. How are you? Hey, okay, so we just saw that scene. Uh, it, it, so, Tina, you're ba basically playing Kim, a board <laughs> stuck in the life of TV reporter. Yeah. Uh, what, what was this like when you read this book? And yeah. you were it was described as kind of a Tina Fey character. Yeah, the review, the New York Times review of books, uh, book yeah. described it as sort of a Tina Fey character. So I was like, I'm gonna read that book because I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, and Kim was a print journalist for the Chicago mm -hmm. Tribune. In the right. movie, it's a, a, a broadcast journalist because um, it's easier to sure. film, whatever. Um, but yeah, you were working at the Tribune, and they literally, yeah. literally did come into the office and be like, "Who here doesn't have kids and can no, go?" No, <laughs> no. I basically I was trying to differentiate myself <laughs> from all the other reporters, you know, who could, you know. I heard they wanted to send more women overseas, so I figured the fact that I didn't have kids and I wasn't married, it meant I was expendable, and therefore maybe nobody would sue if something happened. That's a good feeling. Yeah, and yeah. they were like, no, yeah, no, I mean, we like, like that. And it was, I was joking around. Sure. I, I have a bit of a sense of humor. The lesson here to me for authors is if you want your book made into a movie, drop Tina's name into the review. She'll or, buy it and yeah. be in it. Or, yeah, just, just like any, any, any actor's name in the review. Yeah. Tina, in seeing what goes through is obviously a fictionalized account, yeah. but does it give you a greater appreciation of what journalists go through yes. when they are, you know, in harm's way? Yeah, I can't believe the stuff that you guys do, you know, just yeah. to go to go on an embed with the Marines and to follow them around and, and try to get the story, but also not be in their way, right. <laughs> not put them in danger. Um, yeah, I, I, people keep saying to me, like, could you d really do this in real life? I was like, no, I'm pretty cowardly in real life. <laughs> like, I would be a real chicken um, to do the stuff that you have done. But sh to shoot it in a New Mexico desert with cameras, you're Mexico, good. You've got that's that. That's fine. Have, then you have break and have like a nice dinner. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Right. As long as there's craft services, you'll report on the war. So part of this, obviously, it's a war movie, but there's right. also a lot of humor in it. Right. Uh, was it that way for you when you were over there? Yeah, I mean, the yeah. book is written in a dark, like, comic way. Uh, and I tend to see the world through that lens and read a lot of Joseph Heller and Kurt Vonnegut when I was a kid and loved MASH. So I always wanted to see if I could do this in a way that might actually make people want to read about the war over mm -hmm. there. And so many things you saw over there were just so absurd, and the only frame you could use to sort of capture it was dark humor. And Tina, you're, you're portraying some, a real person yes. in, a, in a movie, and you know Kim. It, was that kind of weird for you? Well, it, I knew it wasn't uh, a biopic, so uh -huh. I knew I didn't have to like really like Daniel Day Lewis it <laughs> hardcore. Um, she was shadowing me for months. I slept, months I slept in Kim's bed with her for a year. <laughs> she didn't know. I always got in when she was already asleep, and I got out before she woke up. Wow, really? It was a lot of hard work. That's impressive. Um, <laughs> but uh, but I, you wanted, we wanted to try to get it right. We wanted to try to get the culture stuff right, the military stuff right, as best we could. Um, and my only regret is that Kim is, is uh, how tall are you? Like 5'10"? Five, 5'10". Ten? Ten, five, ten, I wish yeah. I could have been 5'10 mm. in the movie. That's my only regret. shoot you a certain way to make yeah, it Yeah, shoot ten. like Lord of the Rings <laughs> Style where they shoot up at me. <laughs> Before we let you go, Tina, Sarah Palin, obviously. Yeah. Playing a role in this presidential race. You yeah. came back. Lauren yes. called. You came. Do you suspect you'll be back on SNL throughout the campaign? I have a feeling no. Really? I, 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 my gut, just my gut was watching Donald Trump's face watch her during that endorsement. He was like, I, me talk. I like, I talky. You know talky. <laughs> so I think, I don't think we'll see her So again. one and done for you <laughs> and Sarah know. Palin. All right, and Whiskey Tango Foxtrot in theaters now. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.